We're given a vector valued function and we're asked to find the limit as t approaches infinity. Let's go ahead and work it out. The first step will be to replace r of t with the function it actually represents. So this is the limit as t approaches infinity of r of t. So e to the negative t i plus 1 over t squared plus 7j plus the arctangent of t k. At this point we can take the limit. However, it may be useful to think of e to the negative t as 1 over e to the t because as t approaches infinity, e to the t approaches infinity. So 1 over e to the t approaches 0. So this will be 0i. Likewise here, this term is going to approach 0 because t approaches infinity and it's being divided by t squared plus 7. So this is plus 0j. And now we have to deal with the arctan function. If you recall, the arctan function looks something like this. It has a horizontal asymptote at pi over 2 and another horizontal asymptote at negative pi over 2. So it looks something like that. So as t approaches infinity, the y values get closer and closer and closer to pi over 2. So this will be plus pi over 2 k. So this is equal to pi over 2 k. And that's an acceptable answer. If you wanted to write it in vector form, this would be 0, 0, pi over 2. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.